and welcome back to the Calculator Review, hosted on Calicwin.com. Today is day 15 of Calculatober, and today's calculator is from Texas Instruments. Uh, this is the TI-30XA. Now, this one is a calculator I hear mentioned all the time. Uh, people send me pictures of their TI-30 calculators. Um, there's a lot of different versions of this one. In fact, there's a lot of different versions of the TI-30XA. There's, I think, five or six different um, revisions of it. And that's not counting the solar version or the TI-30X, or I think there's also a TI-30X2. There's just so many of them. Um, but today I'm focusing on the version from 2004. Uh, it also, there have been other revisions as well. Uh, the, I believe this was first introduced in 1996, and so yeah, there have been a lot of different re revisions of it, so it's really hard to keep track of this calculator. Uh, just finding out that this was from 2004 was a lot more work than I'd care to admit. Um, so anyway, I did a video on repairing this calculator. I don't remember what exactly I did with it, because this was a long time ago. Um, but I did take it apart on camera and messed with it. I guess I cleaned it up. It, lo it looks like it's in great condition now, so uh, I guess I did a good job. So, uh, yeah, so let's take a look at uh, the outside of it. Uh, it comes with really nice cover, very sturdy, pretty typical of TI's calculators. Now, this is not an expensive calculator. These go for about 12 bucks. Um, I probably found this one at Goodwill for probably a dollar or two. So they're not exactly hard to find, and there are plenty of them. So the cover isn't that necessary, but it is a nice touch because I, I do like it when, even when a calculator is meant to be cheap, it's still meant to last. Um, the other issue with this is it's not solar. Now, I did say there is a solar version of this, but I don't have that, so I can't really do a direct comparison. But it does have an off button, so you won't waste batteries too much. And it does turn off after a little while. So yeah, uh, pretty well well designed. And nothing really fancy going on. This isn't like the sturdiest calculator ever. But it's not the weakest. Uh, I've looked at the internal components. They all look great. I mean, this is made of quality materials. And uh, so yeah, let's... Let's do a uh, quick 2 square root times 2 square root. Huh, it's actually 2. So, already you can tell like this is, a, this is a really accurate calculator, and that's nice to see. In fact, if we do 2 square root, hi cat, squared, again it's 2. Um, it also has a lot of different buttons for other functions. Um, having a pi button is kind of nice, especially because it provides this many digits. And yeah, lots of other uh, things that I'm not going to get into because that's kind of outside the scope of what my channel does. I don't really... <laughs> so yeah, my cat really wanted to sit on my desk during this, so I didn't have the heart to tell him no. Um, where was I? So yeah, this is the type of calculator you typically bring to like an SAT test or a high school it's not quite on the level of a graphing calculator or even a fraction calculator, but it, it definitely holds its own as just your standard scientific calculator. And Texas Instruments did a really good job with it. Um, I've really had no issues with it aside from when I cleaned it, but you know these things get dirty on their own. Um, so yeah, uh, the buttons are fine. They're a little, a little bit wonky. Uh, they have a little bit of give if you tilt them left or right, so it doesn't affect functionality whatsoever, and they don't feel like they're going to come out, but it is kind of weird that they wouldn't have these fit just a little bit better. Like, every button just kind of has a, a jiggle to it, which, of course, isn't that big of a deal. Uh, that's really the only fault I can have, I can find with it. Oh! Actually, I take that back. So to access the batteries on this, you need to remove all six screws, and 
I don't know how many times I've brought this up in calculator reviews, but that's really annoying. Don't, don't, if you make calculators, don't do that. Have a panel that you can lift, or at most two screws. Tape to access the, uh, the battery. Or do what that, uh, that calculator company did. I forget what they were called, but they did the Time Master, and they had a little slide out tab to access the battery. That was cool. And definitely my preferred way of having batteries, if you're going to have batteries at all. Um, personally, I just go with solar or something you can plug in. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a decent pocket calculator. Definitely can't go wrong with it. Uh, I, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, get the solar version if you can, because I imagine that has a, that lasts a bit longer than this does, battery-wise. Um, and also look for later revisions. And the way you can tell, uh, I won't get into specifics on what each revision has, but the easiest way to identify your revision is this: the logo up at the top. If it's white, it's probably the 2013 or later revision, and if it's yellow, that means it's 2004 or sooner. Um, and if it's over in the corner here, it's probably from 1996. Um, there's also different like roundedness points. Uh, there's another one that looks completely different. I believe that's just the standard TI-30X without the A. But um, definitely look for uh, later revisions because they're probably going to have they're probably going to last longer, have better better battery life, build to better materials. Not that the old ones are bad at all. Um, I mean, I'd recommend any one of them, even though I haven't really interacted with many of them. But yeah, this is a, a really good line of budget scientific calculators from Texas Instruments. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great day. Bye!